Hi everyone, Melissa here from EdTech, and I'm here to show you how you can use the password locker feature if you've changed your passwords or entered them incorrectly. So ClassLink, as you know, helps you have one place to log into all of your apps to make it much easier for you. But sometimes when we log in the first time, we might enter incorrect information. So I'll show you how to change that. For example, on my RenPlace teacher, I've actually entered the wrong thing. When our little making magic happen pops up, you'll see that it pops up with a red box here and I'm gonna have to retype my information. Instead of having to do this every single time, I can just update my password that's saved in ClassLink. To do so, click on the little image of the person in the top right hand corner and then choose settings. You're gonna go to app passwords. On this list, you will see any app that you have signed into is marked as set in green. If it's not set in red, then you, then you haven't entered any information yet. So I know for my RenPlace teacher account, I've done this incorrectly. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the pencil to the right of this app. You're gonna see default. This is the saved information that I've input. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the pencil to the right of that as well. On here, I can see that my username is correct. In some instances for both students and teachers, your account may either be the first portion of your username or your username at nmusc.us. So this is another place that you may need to change. For me, I know that I entered my password incorrectly. And now I'm gonna go ahead and press save. On the bottom, it's showing me that I've done this correctly and it's successfully saved. So when I exit out of here by clicking the X and the back arrow, I'm now gonna go back into my RenPlace account. And voila, I am in my account with no problems. So again, if, you, if it gives you an error message that you have the wrong password or the wrong account information, you can always access your password lockers through the settings. Hopefully this helps. Have a great day.